Hey guys, so welcome back to another video and hopefully you guys are enjoying this channel. In today's video, we're gonna customize some seat covers again for a car. And uh, in today's video, we're gonna try to lay down a more color than we did on the previous seat cover. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unpackage this and try to stretch the material out as much as we can so we have a nice flat surface to work with and uh, it'll be easier for us to paint. So let's go ahead and get started. I try to use the tools that are at my disposal and uh, for me the main tool when doing stencils is Illustrator convert, converting things into, uh, into graphics and then being able to cut them out and uh, use them for stencils makes it easier for me to uh, do the actual job and um, to get things looking as professional as possible. So I just cut the stencil out and the process is going to be fairly simple. I'm going to apply the stencil, add white base to it, apply some color and then remove the stencil revealing the, uh, you know, the, the black behind it and uh, it'll make for, for a very nice uh, looking uh, seat cover there.
just having the vinyl there uh, looks really nice and you can kind of just leave it like that if you wanted to but um, she wanted something painted on there so uh, I'm gonna airbrush uh, some paint on there. So I'm gonna keep it 80s style going with that uh, neon signs if you will so I'm gonna go with the purple and uh, the blue to make it look um, you know kind of like it's glowing and then that's gonna look really nice against the orange yellow that I'm gonna apply inside the butterfly so let's go ahead and take a look at that. It needed a little bit more uh, uh, dimension to it, so I added a little bit of magenta pink uh, 
uh, this way it really stands out and it looks like it's growing. Even just leaving it white like that would look really nice. Kind of looks like it's glowing in a way. But uh, let's add some color because I know that's definitely going to make it pop. I'm going to start with the base uh, color, which is like a yellowish color. So I'm going to take that and apply it all over the uh, butterfly. And I'm going to come back with a darker orange and then a darker brown. Man, you gotta have that time where you just like disconnect from the, from the scene, just the, the, the race. Like, and, and it's a race that I've created in my head, you know? But you have to step away from it. All right, so let me throw on some shadows here for the uh, butterfly wings, and then we'll remove that stencil and see what that looks like.
and wow these came out better than I expected uh, it looks very nice the butterfly really stands out so now all we have to do is apply a little bit of autoborne sealer just to protect it and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and do that allow that to dry and we're good to go so uh, let's go ahead and finish these off all right and there you guys have it hopefully you guys enjoy this video the seats came out really nice and very colorful I really had a good time painting these uh, even though it's really really hot outside and I have no insulation but I'm always down to do fun things so hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you guys have any questions or looking to get something customized let me know you guys can DM me on Instagram at designer Ernie if you're looking for promotional products in bulk for your business some sort of merch you guys can find me on marketing-brands.com so I'll see you guys in the next video take it easy for now bye bye